Hey guys, this is Matt Core, and welcome to Vector Bootcamp. The pen tool in Photoshop is going to be what we use for 99% of this stuff. And I think the most important thing to know about the pen tool is to understand tangency. So I want you to download this worksheet that I have at the bottom of the post and select your pen tool and set it to the mode shape. This just means it's going to have a fill or a stroke and it's going to actually make a layer in your document. Now I'm going to set my fill to be just a real visible color here. Uh, we'll do black for a minute. I have no stroke. You can see that because it's got this little red line through the white box and I'm on a new layer. When we look at some of these examples here, we can see there's a couple different types of curves and lines. We have hard angles and we have smooth flowing curves. Those are kind of the two ingredients we have to work with. Sometimes it'll be one curve leading into another curve. Sometimes it'll be a straight line leading into a curve. Anytime we lay down a point, we can choose. Do we want it to be angular or do we want it to be angular and smooth or smooth and smooth? Let's start by tracing this. I will click once to put down an anchor point. Here I'm coming to another hard edge, so I'll click once again. Very easy. Come straight across here and then eventually it curves. So I have to think about how I want to handle this. Probably what I want to do is to click and drag. And you'll see when I do that, I get these little handles that come out. If I were to pull up or down, it would give me kind of a curved shape. But I actually want it to have kind of straight across. So I'll pull out a little bit and let go. And then my next point is actually going to make this into kind of a an extended curve right here. So once again, I click and hold, and you can see what happens. Now, clearly, I didn't get it quite right, but that's okay. I can come back and adjust it later. So next, I come up here to a hard edge. So I'm just going to click and let go. Another hard edge, click and let go. Now, this one is tricky because it's got a hard edge here, but then it turns into this big sweeping curve. So I'm going to click and hold and pull out a curve a bit. And then here, once again, I'm going to click and hold. But it's not quite right. Let me lower the opacity a little bit so we can see our shape better. You can see that it's supposed to have a sharp edge here as it transitions into this curve. But because I clicked and held, it tried to have this smooth transition. Well, this is where we get into tangency. This angle is a broken tangent. This smooth flowing S-curve is not a broken tangent. If you want to retroactively break the tangent, all you do is hold down Alt, and you'll see your cursor turns into a little angle, and then you click on that handle, and you pull just one of the handles. And now what I've done is I have broken that smooth transition. And so what this introduces now is we have sort of two tools. We can lay down points, or we can modify existing points. And this is where keyboard shortcuts come in handy. So you'll see here, this handle needs to be tweaked a little bit to actually make this curve kind of line up correctly. Well, if I hold down Control or Command on a Mac, I get a little white arrow. So I use the white arrow, and I can kind of ch change the angle a little bit with that handle. I'll probably leave that for now, so I'll zoom out and keep going here. Now I want to add more points. So I go back to just the default pen tool, no keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to do hold and drag. And then I'm going to just click here because I want a hard edge. But we can see it carried over that smooth tangency from the previous point. So what do you think we have to do here? Well, we have to break it. We need to first, yeah, I guess use Alt to break this one, and then use control to manipulate these existing ones to try and kind of match the target here. And you can see it's a bit of a balancing act. That seems pretty good. And then finally, I will close the path by clicking on the original starting point. So we almost got the whole thing, but here, I've deviated a little bit. So what I'm going to do is hold down Control, click once on the point, let go, and then still holding Control, 
begin to manipulate these. Now, if you can't pull the handle quite enough to get it to do what you want it to, you might need to shift the entire point and then also adjust the handle. So maybe I need to shift this down even further. And you'll start to get a handle on how these placements need to work out. At first, it's going to be place the points and then shift them around. Lots of shifting is totally fine. This is just going to take practice. And the really nice thing is, unlike pixels, it will never get blurry or soft edged. This is vector. It is perfectly sharp, no matter how much you fuss with it. Now, as this video is already running a little long, what I've included are a number of shapes. All of these can be made by following those simple rules, placing hard points by click, click, clicking, or click and drag to create smooth tangents. And then going back in and with control and with alt, manipulating the handles to get the shape you want. It's going to take some time, but I encourage you to trace all of these shapes and see how close you can get. Now, I will say this here is a bit of a trick question. If you can figure out an easier way to create this shape here, go for it. Let us know in the comments. Good luck. This is hard stuff, but you are going to be so much better for it after we get a little more practice under our belt. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.